The system installer has finished now on Ubuntu Mate and the system has rebooted and I've been presented with the welcome screen that now has this Raspberry Pi information button. Well, that's good points here. While the experience is visually similar to Desktop Edition, the underlying architecture is very different. This page will highlight a few of these differences. So resizing the file system, yes we will need to do that. Incompatible software, upgrades. Uh, do not attempt to upgrade. Hmm. So what would we be really using a computer for? A basic system. Let's start with web browsing. Well, I have to say responsiveness is uh, not that good at the minute, is it? Uh, let's have a look. What's it done? Crashed? Oh no, it's opening. Right. So let's start with the BBC News page. So this is going to go to Google first. Yep, OK, onwards. There's nothing wrong with the internet connection, I've got plenty of bandwidth at the moment. So the speed issue is now down to the Pi. Uh, scrolling down, a bit judgery. How about the iPlayer? Well that won't work without Flash. Oh, there we go, opt into HTML5 player. Let's try and watch something live, but very briefly because the BBC will try and claim ownership of this video if I'm not careful. Uh, yes, I have a TV license. <clears throat> oh, your device is not currently supported. No. What? But you said you work with Firefox, didn't you? Firefox 43? Well, it's Firefox 46, so why don't you work? You lie, BBC! Come on, I want some entertainment here. It's been quite a while since I last played Super Tux Kart. But I'm taking a look at the latest version here, which is 0.8.2 beta, on. which had to compile from source code. Now, one Trying of the to push the resolution up, it's been very unresponsive. <laughs> I have to say, it completely blows my mind of how it looks now. Right. <laughs> HD 1080. <laughs> Let's see how it does. Come on. The cart's dynamics has completely changed. You've now got these weight and speed. Whoa! <laughs> Bit unresponsive. Let's try Google Plus. Come on, hurry up and load. Render the images quicker. Ah oh, yeah, there we go. Well, that's okay. Scrolling down seems to be okay. Yeah. What about opening an image? This uh, ridiculous wallpaper that I was messing around with. Is that going to work? Yeah. Slowly. Okay, that's rendered. Let's try LibreOffice. Opening up LibreOffice Writer. Getting there. I still wouldn't call this particularly good though. Barely tolerable, I suppose. Uh, hi world. How are you today? How are you today? Let's save the file. Save as. Untitled one, yes, in uh, my documents folder. Close enough, save it. That was quick enough. Yeah, that looks fine. How about some things on the network? Open with VLC. Right, no more than that. It played. Let's try a folder of images. Well, I can scroll around the images. Yeah. Don't accept that one. Why well, can't these load? Oh, there you go. Again, I would say it's a bit slower than a desktop system. Even a bit slower than my mobile phone, in fact. Um, <clears throat> which, mobile is only a bit faster on the CPU. See, what you're looking at here is um, a very low-end mobile phone equivalent. 
with a desktop operating system on it, albeit tuned to the ARM CPU. Alright, let's try a movie. Why not? Be a glutton for punishment. 1949, let's hope this is not copyrighted. A 1916 film. Actually, it probably will be copyrighted still. No, it hasn't worked, has it? Got no picture. Ah, oh, yes, we have. Uh, that's not refreshing well enough. Now, I don't think for movies it's been particularly well tuned to what the Raspberry Pi could do. Now, if I was to take something like Kodi, I would expect it to work a lot better than this. Let's try something a lot lighter. A TV program. 100 meg TV program. Oh, 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 we had a crash. What are the details? NM applet. Well, in fact, this is even smaller than 100 meg. This is uh, 22 meg. First Simpsons episode. Come on, tell me you can play that. Well, good night, son. Let's try the software centre. Software boutique. Uh, something basic. That's it. Who wrote Super Tax Car as a. <laughs> These are all too big. I can't believe how little there is actually. Um, is there anything like. I was trying to think because they're like Ale Riot Solitaire. Oh yeah, Ale Riot. Games Ale Riot Solitaire. Yes, that works. Oh, look at that, I can't even move. No, I can. Right. So, Solitaire works fine. I have to say, I am disappointed in how the Raspberry Pi Model 3 was then. I know it can do full-blown video. I know the Raspberry Pi Model 2 was capable of playing Blu-ray files. But that was using Kodi, which obviously has better improvements in using the hardware on the system. I don't think VLC there in Ubuntu Mate has that ability. That was a shame. But then trying to use YouTube in Firefox didn't work either, really. It was just lagged so badly. It they made the video unwatchable. What did it do well at though? Well, LibreOffice worked fine. Can't complain there. I don't know how it is on a massive spreadsheet, of course, but uh, it could certainly write a letter on that system, so no problems there. No problems there playing Solitaire. Maybe that's what some people want to do on their computer. Google Plus also worked nicely, albeit a bit lagging on some of the page loading and images there. So look, you could do some of the basics there on the internet, read the news, look at social media. For some people that would be all they want, in which case, no problems there. Music files also worked absolutely fine, but when it came to video files there, no. For that, I would want Kodi. A proper install, a proper install of the system. That would be good. As a home theater PC with Kodi on there, perfect. As a desktop computer, yep, it's got its uses there. I would just need two Raspberry Pis, but then what you're looking at an outlay of £60, which is still a damn sight lot cheaper than a full-blown computer. Interesting idea, that. In some ways I'm disappointed, but in other ways I can see there's a way forward. So, that was a look at the Raspberry Pi Model 3 as a full-blown desktop computer. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.